Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to this week's Bundesliga review. Um, as I said, I want to summarize what was happening. And for me, one of the overarching teams, especially in Germany, is that con uh, the continued inconsistencies. This is not only particular to one team that we definitely have to talk talk about, maybe even two teams that have already shown in the first two rounds, but also in general that uh, I had a feeling that almost anyone who had won or had a great result in the first round uh, completely did the opposite in the second uh, round as well. So uh, kind of an interesting start to the Bundesliga overall. I mean, it started out with uh, Leipzig completely demolishing Stuttgart, who just came off a four-goal win against Augsburg, uh, with uh, Dominic Schoboslai uh, showing his quality with two great taken goals, where you can see his shooting technique. He came in the winter from Salzburg and could not play even the Euros. Yeah, he's showing that he is probably a really, really, really good player, and Stuttgart had really nothing to... Uh, show there uh, to show, which was sad for me, honestly. Uh, and it also has to be said that uh, the third goal was one of the weirdest I've ever seen. I mean, a free kick where Simaka almost gets his head to it and then it goes into it without being touched. And I cannot blame the goalkeeper for that as well. So, uh, rather impressive stuff from Leipzig, who kind of now arrived in the uh, Bundesliga after having this uh, horrid showing against uh, Mainz. I want to mention the Bochum win over Mainz. Again, one totally turned to turn around. Bochum had a regular showing in Wolfsburg, but Mainz, uh, great win against uh, Leipzig. Same lineup, not showing anything. But the game is notable for the first goal by Bochum uh, through Holtmann, who basically got the ball uh, close to half the line. Keeps running, keeps running, and in the end, he was saying, I, I, we were thinking you should shoot, shoot, shoot. And he said, No, I'm not so uh, confident with my right foot to shoot, so I just went uh, for the nutmeg and put it in. And that's exactly the wonderful solo goal, uh, probably the goal of the weekend. And then we have to talk Freiburg against Dortmund. Speaking of inconsistencies, Dortmund steamrolling Frankfurt, looking good. Yes, they played a Super Cup, which I didn't cover on this channel. I don't like Super Cups. Um, I had a good showing against Bayern, but individual mistakes undid them. And then they go to Freiburg. And yeah, there was not too much. This was, this was the Dortmund that we have seen all uh, season, last season, where they can follow up a brilliant performance with a complete stinker, especially away from home against a team that is digging in and fighting. And not only digging in, I mean, they had some class with Vincenzo Grifo uh, scoring a wonderful free kick. And yeah, if the wall would have been four instead of three, might have helped because uh, Freiburg also made their own wall in front of it, so it goes nicely through there. Um, but then... To be honest, there was a sitter for Freiburg uh, that has to become very could have been 2 0 at the half. Yes, there were some Dortmund chances as well, but as soon as it was 2 0, uh, you thought the game is done. Yes, then a very weird on goal uh, where, uh, you know, it was Bellingham there, but uh, Cadell puts it in. Uh, Right after the 2-0, you thought it will get uh, exciting, but no, I think it was Freiburg closer to the third than Dortmund. And that is a real head-scratcher, and this is exactly, if you want to beat Bayern, you need to consistently win and not drop games like that. Uh, we also have to worry about the big uh, CD team Hertha, who again lose. To a Wolfsburg team who turns around late and I only mentioned it because well, Wolfsburg is the only team who got two wins in a row uh, so far. Um, and we also have, have, have to mention the evening game between Leverkusen and Gladbach where everything that could go wrong for Gladbach did go wrong. First, an, a freak on goal by Jan Sommer where uh, he kind of thought that the ball is going uh, beside the post out. It hits the post and comes back and uh, hits his uh, leg and goes in the internet. And Patrick Schick, a uh, pretty good goal to make it 2 0, and that already set the game in one direction. However, Gladbach went uh, in, but injuries, Thuram had to come off. Then they get a penalty. 
Stindl's penalty is saved. Then Stefan Leiner has to come off injured. Uh, then Diaby makes it 3 0. Uh, was nicely played by Bakker, who came from PSG. And uh, then in, in, in the end, another own goal, uh, kind of, you know, the goalkeeper, uh, Jan, Jan, Jan Sommer, didn't look very well uh, from the goal by Amiri. So, all in all, I mean, the worst day ever for Gladbach. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong for, for, for them in Leverkusen with a big win. And then uh, the last one, I did not see much harder, but I saw, saw the goals for Bayern against Köln. Bayern had a 2 nil lead um, in the second half, uh, in the 59th, 9th minute, but right off the kick of Modest gets, uh, pulls Köln back, and then two, two minutes later, it's 2-2 through Ud. Uh, absolute crazy game that Köln had the fight in, in them, and actually this... I have some positive feelings to Köln. I think this could be a season where they're not as struggling as they were last season. But you know, last season was also, you thought they're not struggling and they're struggling again. But the first two showings for Köln are re really good, but Bayern get the win through a Gnabry goal. Um, and then I think there was even, uh, the hit once the, wood, the, the woodwork, so over probably a deserved win for Bayern, but was everything but... Uh, con uh, everything but straightforward, not convincing. Everything but straight forward there and so yeah i uh, leave you with the stats we'll comment more on those uh, at some later point And then in Austria, it was one of those weird weekends where almost anyone who had played for the opponents scored in many, many, many ways. It was also an interesting uh, game uh, in the sense that Salzburg was everything but convincing against Klangfurt. Klangfurt having two huge misses, absolutely huge, huge misses. They could, could have gotten a point out of there. However, Salzburg wins 3-1 um, and again ADM is scoring. Uh, of course, they played the Champions League playoffs and that's the big focus at the moment. But uh, it seems like uh, the last three weeks, it always seemed like Salzburg could falter, but they just didn't. And it's also very much down to the rather easy draw that they have. What can I say about Lusk? Well, um, if you don't take your chances, I'm talking about Potsman, who um, eight meters out, empty net, he wants to pass the ball into goal and it goes wide. Um, creating chances and then you knock out your own goal, go, 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 goalkeeper that your opponent can lob it into net and you again are down a goal. Fortunately for Mahatbekwea, Flecker makes an equalizer and then you're pressing and pressing but you cannot create a chance. Frustrating, frustrating. At the moment, being a last is very, very frustrating. Speaking of players who scored for against the old teams, uh, Marco Grull scored an opener for Reed, who still, ever since Reed came into, in, in, into the Bundesliga, at repeat, is the one place where they sometimes, very rarely, get a draw, but most of the time they lose. It is a staggering statistic uh, that you cannot get a win at repeat. Repeat after a lucky win in the uh, Europa League playoff, all, all, also with 3 0. Uh, followed up with 3 0. And then Sturm against Austria was a rather entertaining game where, again, uh, not only did uh, Djuric in for Austria score two goals against his form from home team, but Zakaria, who came just from Austria to Sturm, also scored, scored, scored the goal. Austria win had a lead at the halftime. Sturm came right back after, after half to turn the game around, uh, but then Austria could e e equalize in probably the best game of the weekend, which uh, actually very nicely says it's says, says in the next round, uh, derby round, where we have the Vienna derby and we have an upper Austrian derby, although I don't really see it, uh, that much of a derby. Uh, so that's something to look forward to. Uh, in the standings, uh, here comment a little bit because we know already Salzburg and Sturm seem to be at the moment the class of the league rapid. Maybe go in there, uh, Lask, and Lask and Tirol are two teams that just cannot get it going. Austria, Wien, being in last place, that is notable. However, I think this belies their overall performances a little bit. As, as you can see in the expected standings, Austria still um, finished sixth and into 
this uh, playoff round. Uh, where they would finish six at the moment, it's really Salzburg and Sturm and then Rapid Lask for this third and fourth place. That pretty much seems to be set in stone at the moment. I am worried about Lask at the moment. I think there's just the last step is majorly missing and they need to get that going. So yeah, that was it for me from uh, Germany and Austria. Please let me know if you want to add anything to the games I've been talk talk or talking about here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.